advocate you are you're a big advocate for mental health Rory and obviously the video that went up that we made there about a, a couple of weeks ago you know um, highlighting the fact that mental health and depression can affect people we least expect so I suppose maybe just you know let us know your relationship with mental health and so why you decided to make that video I'm, I'm trying to understand depression and mental health as best I can and um, trying to use my own influence for the, for the better to let people know that it, you know it's it, it is okay not to feel okay and you know very important message yeah. to get out there especially in our society men and you know think that it's weak and it's vulnerable and you're you're soft if you if you admit to having having you know mental health or depression or anxiety but it's far from it. in my opinion you have a bigger set of balls and you to admit that yeah and um, so i try to use my influence to highlight that you know th the people who think that everyone are going well from are the people that you know alarm bells you know more so than the people who look down and out it's the yeah. people who are full of life you need to be looking out for the most I think it's just very important that, you know, to break the stigma around mental health as well. And, you know, like old school Irish people would think mental health is a myth. They wouldn't think it's real. They'd be like, ah, oh, geez, you'll be grand now in a couple of weeks, relax. But it's just important to get out there and just let people know, look, if you are feeling down, you it's perfectly okay to go out there and seek help. Yeah, but that's it. Like, I even know myself, and I'm sure people listening to this and telling you, like, one of the hardest things to do is actually look your your friend in the audience are you okay even yeah. you feel awkward asking that question yeah. you're going are, are you okay and it's at the tip of your tongue and like it's them simple words you're okay and, and you know by the look in their eyes they're like they're, they're wilting like behind all and like it's all it takes just to break that wall down and like I, I hope that we live in a generation years to come say Ella my daughter's five now in years to come where you can have a typical Ireland is come on Johnny how are you getting on oh you know how about her keeping well yeah good luck and even though Johnny is absolutely in the hive and he's and he's contemplating suicide, like that's the way the world is. But it, it, instead of going, yeah, not having a great day because it affects you in different ways. You know what I mean? Like so, it's, yeah. it's not. And I'd say like, for people maybe who haven't had an experience of mental health or someone who you know who they don't expect, I'd say a perfect example of someone in the public eye would be Robin Williams. Yeah. Um, a fella who was uh, for his whole life tried to make people laugh and entertain them, but ultimately the demons got him. Like yeah. Well, yeah. any any comic, like, listen, I I can admit it myself. We you've seen about it. We we go yeah. to a live show, great performance on the way home. We we actually I think we done a gig before on Paddy Lavelle's, and we we drove ten miles in the wrong direction because we were on such a cloud nine after yeah. our, 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 we were so high. Like the adrenaline you get from comedy, you're you're on such a high. You've like no drug can suffice. You're just so buzzing, but then the next day, the boom, come you down. come down. It's yeah. fucking horrible and. Anyone to tell you the easy way to, to, to go is to turn to alcohol and um, to get back in that high, but it's the worst thing you can do because obviously you go in the beer, then just, you know you have a hangover and it's a double whammy. Yeah. Um, my own experience exercise is my is my head on. So what I do is I do a show, and of course I want to go in the beer after, but it's 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 not ideal because you leave yourself down and dumps for a couple of days. So I go and I hit the gym the next day, and then I'm back on level playing field again. So my only advice is is to people who feel they're suffering is is get off substances stop stop smoking weed stop stop doing drugs stop you know drinking heavily and start exercising more and i guarantee you'll improve 60 percent of people who are suffering because they're the main reasons to it